everybody, and welcome to Organizational Behavior 1105. As you can tell, we're not in the classroom. I'm actually sitting in my backyard, and I thought I'd do a little introductory video for you today. And uh, this is the first time I've ever tried something like this, so I hope it goes well. And if it doesn't, well, we can always just try again and do something different, I guess. But uh, I wanted to take the time to thank you for taking the course. I'm excited to teach the course. It's one of the favorite courses of mine that I teach, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. And uh, maybe we'll get into that little, a little later on when we uh, are closer to the beginning of the start of the course or even into the course itself. But I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you've signed up to take the course, not just because it fills up the class and I get to teach it, but I really believe that this course contains a lot of great information, not just about organizational behavior, not just because it's a prereq for a bunch of other courses that you have to take, but because there's a lot of really good information in this course, information that will make a huge difference for you, not just in your workplace, but in all aspects of your life, whether it's personal relationships, professional relationships, any kind of relationship that you have, it's going to have a significant impact in those things. And in this course, I kind of break it down into two sections. The first section is all about you. You as an individual, we do cover some teamwork, but for the most part, the first half of the course is really all about you because organizational behavior is about people. We don't we, we don't talk about organizations without talking about people. And we can't really talk about people as people groups or, or teams or uh, organizational divisions. We can't talk about any of that until we start talking about individuals and how they learn, how they behave, uh, how stress uh, affects them, their perception on different things. So all these things add up to you as an individual and you bring those into the organization that you're with. So it's important for me to start with that and then we'll get into some of the more meta stuff with organizational behavior. That's why I'm glad you're here. I'm really excited about, about starting this with you and uh, you can see that I stutter just because I'm nervous about doing this video but uh, I, I really can't say enough about the fact that it's, it's gonna be a really, really good semester and we're gonna have a lot of fun together. Um, so a little bit about me, who am I? Well, my name's Tim Carson, you probably already knew that. And uh, I'm a dad, I've got four kids. Most of them are adults now, uh, 22, 20, 19, and, and 15 going on 16. Uh, so three graduated, I've got one just graduating again uh, at the end of next year, so we'll be done. Uh, I've been married to my wife for 25 years. Uh, we have a dog, my mother-in-law lives with me. It's great. It's a great life. I love it. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a husband. I'm a father. Uh, I'm a son-in-law. I'm an educator. I also happen to be a tradesperson. I'm a plumber, a gas fitter. Uh, I taught in the piping department at, at BCIT. I was the chief instructor there for uh, a number of years. And now I work at BC campus uh, where I project manage a bunch of different projects. And so I come with this background of experience and education. I have my master's degree in leadership. So it explains who I am. It doesn't explain me fully, but it explains a little bit about who I am. So I'd like to get to know you better and perhaps you could comment, leave, leave a little note uh, telling me who you are uh, you can email me that uh, maybe even post your own little video I'm just doing this on my iPhone um, no big production value here uh, maybe you would want to do the same just send me a short little video telling me your name uh, so that way I know how to pronounce it correctly if I if I ever need to do that <laughs> uh, tell me why you took the course why you signed up for this? Uh, is it just because it's a prereq and you really wanted to take something else down the line and you're just kind of forced to take this? Or is it because you want to learn more about organizational behavior or maybe both, or maybe there's something in there that uh, I haven't touched on and, and you want to uh, learn more about? That's the other thing I'd like to ask you. What do you want to learn? What do you, what do you want to be exposed to in this course? Uh, there's a lot of great things in here. We're gonna cover a lot of material in the 13 weeks that we're together, but maybe there's something specific about organizational behavior that you'd like to know about let me know so the question may be what are we going to do uh, especially in this online format well I can I can give you a heads up on a couple things that we're going to be doing one uh, there's going to be weekly discussion forums that you'll be a part of 
two, there will be class lectures, there will be class sessions that uh, you can choose to come or not to come because I'll record them uh, and I'm not going to be forcing attendance uh, and forcing you to show up uh, at a specific time on a specific date. There are class times that you signed up for, um, but if you can't make it for whatever reason, that's okay. Just know that every session will be recorded and it will be available for you uh, to watch uh, at your leisure. I'm also going to be doing something quite different with this course that I've never done before. I'm excited about it, but I'm I'm really I'm kind of nervous about it too because it's called a mixtape. And the whole idea about a mixtape is that I put everything together for you in one package, in one location, and you go there and you choose to listen, read, watch, whatever you want to. And you do need to participate in the discussion forums. Um, that that is that is part of your mark. Uh, however, I'm going to be offering you the chapters. I'm going to be reading the chapters and putting them in an MP3 format. Uh, I do a podcast, so I'm 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 used to recording things. So I'm going to record the chapter and give it to you to listen to. I'm going to also give you some supplemental articles to read. And then I'm going to be posting a discussion question once a week uh, for 10 weeks out of the 13. We'll be doing a discussion forum. And then there will be a midterm and a final. And the midterm and the final are going to be completely different than what you have ever experienced before. And some of you have had me in other courses and you know how I've run my midterms and finals. This is even going to knock that out of the park. You're going to be so... Um, What's the term? <laughs> You're going to be so amazed at what's going to be offered for you in the midterm and the final. It's going to blow your socks off. So stay tuned and be sure to be there first week when I unpack what the midterm and the final are going to look like. Because um, it's going to be it's going to be unbelievable. I guarantee you that. How can you contact me? Well, you can contact me a couple ways. One, you can contact me through the hub and the email that's there. You can also contact me through my regular BCIT email, and that's Tim underscore Carson dot CA. And I'll, and I'll post my email here uh, beside me somewhere here or over here or maybe right here. I don't know. It'll be there for you to, to copy down. Uh, but I've also created a Slack channel this for the class, for the course. And I'll be sending that link out soon. So if you want to be a part of the Slack channel to be in touch with everybody in the class, to ask questions of people in the class or even of me, or to just kind of connect in and see what people are talking about during the, the sessions that um, that are happening in between our weekly lectures uh, that'll be cool so that's how you can get in contact with me you can email me through the hub you can email me through my other work email or you can get in touch with me through the slack channel and I'll send that link out soon so a couple things before I sign off one how do I measure success the way I measure su success is this that it's it's not based on your mark Right? I mean, I know some of you really want to get a good mark and you're striving for that A or A plus, and that's cool. Some of you are, are would be super happy with, you know, 55%. That's cool too. The really, the only thing that I care about is your work ethic. Okay. I want to see you doing the work. I don't want to see you slacking off. I don't want to see you plagiarizing. I don't want to see you borrowing other people's stuff to do your own. I want you to do the work. I want you to do the work and I want you to use your voice. Okay. Uh, don't worry about spelling and grammar and punctuation and all that stuff. This is not a business communications course. This is an organizational behavior course. And I want to know you as a person. I don't, I don't care about some of that other stuff. Uh, but I, I want to know how you're processing the content. Concepts. I want to know how you're thinking through the concepts and more importantly I want to know how you're going to apply the concepts in closing out I really want you to understand that to understand to really grapple with the concepts of organizational behavior we really have to begin grappling with the concepts of people of individuals and that includes you and of others so teams divisions groups uh, I, I want you to, to work through those things to help you understand organizational behavior. Most importantly, I want you to be yourself. I don't want you to be anybody else. I don't want you to pretend to be anybody else. I, I just, I want you to be you. And if that means you need to rant, awesome, rant. If that means you need to question a lot, like ask a lot of questions, seek clarification five, six, seven times an hour, go ahead, do that. 
Just be yourself. That's all I want. The other thing, the only other thing that I ask of you is that you communicate. Uh, this is an adult course. This is adult education. I treat you like adults. Uh, so therefore, if, if you're going to miss something or you're going to be late on something, just let me know. Reach out to me. You know how to get a hold of me uh, and let me know what's happening. So I'm really excited about being here. I'm really excited about the next 13 weeks with you. It's going to be awesome. And as you can tell, the sun is shining and uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, but I really look forward to connecting with you in about a week and a half's time. So until then, take care. We'll see you soon.